All right, I want to show you guys how to create just a cool little dimensional drop shadow on something that looks a little more realistic. Okay, you guys can see that I've got this guy here and I've got a little shadow going on underneath him down here at the bottom. And what I did was I created a little drop shadow just like you normally would, and then I did a little transformation on it and added a layer mask to it. So what we need to do to get this done, and you guys can see I'll turn the shadow on and off, is this. I'll go to the starting image. You can see it's just the image. I'm going to unlock the layer over here. You guys can do that by Alt or Option, double-clicking on the thumbnail. We're going to go over and make a rough selection of this guy. And I usually do that using, I don't know, some, you can use anything, like a quick selection tool. I'll just go over here and kind of rough it out. The thing is, this is a shadow. So it, you guys don't have to go into, like, channel selections, you know what I mean? <laughs> Things like that. Um, or some crazy type of selection. Let me get in here and just do this real quick. I'll get rid of that. Getting close. I don't really, like I said, have to go too crazy, but I don't want that, obviously. <laughs> All right, there we go. Not too bad. Okay, so I got a rough selection around. I might do a little better job if I want to take more time, but next thing I want to do is I want to make a new layer out of this guy. So you guys can mask it if you want to. That's up to you, but I'm going to hit Control J on Windows or Command J on Mac, and what that'll do is it'll just make a new layer with him by himself. Now, you guys can see I actually missed some stuff, so let me go back real quick. Got my selection there. And there is a select up here, which is called reselect, if you want to go back, which is kind of cool. So let me just grab that uh, out there. Whoops, sorry. Let's grab this stuff, make sure I've got it. There we go, looking pretty great. Got all his backpack hips. There we go, awesome. Okay, now I'm ready. All right, I'll hit Control J or Command J, make a selection out of him, or a new layer rather, there we go. Now, next thing we're gonna do is put a shadow on him. We could do this 50 ways, you guys, this this method. You guys could literally have just taken that selection and filled it with black and blurred it and transformed it and done stuff to it, but here's the way I tend to do it. I go down and I add, down here as a layer style, I add a drop shadow. So I do that. This allows me to go in and you know do what I want. I can kind of mess with it a little bit, move it around just by dragging out here. Change the size, the spread, you know, make it softer, whatever I want to do. Okay, so I'll maybe change the size a little bit. Distance, I don't care. Contour, you could mess with. When I add a little noise to it, that's fine. That's cool. I'll click OK. Now, the problem is I, I can't take this shadow as is, as a layer style, and just move it around. Meaning, meaning I, I can't take it and transform it down here. It makes it a little difficult. So here's what we can do. I've got the layer selected. I can come up to layer. There's 50 ways to do this. You can come to layer style and create a layer out of that shadow. It's just another way to do this. It'll just go in and say, well, some of the effects you guys use will not be able to, you know, do this. You can't turn it into a layer, but I'll click OK. And you can see I now have a shadow layer if I turn all this stuff off. OK. All right. Now, turn it all back on. Um, I'm going to take that shadow layer and select it. And then what we'll do is we'll just transform it. So I'll hit Control T or Command T on Mac. Come up to one of the corners or one of the sides up here. Hold down Control on Windows, Command on Mac. And I can do stuff like this, like just do a nice transformation. I'll drag it in place, get it roughly where I want it. You guys can see there's a little distance there between the foot and the shadow, which is good because he picked his foot up. I'll hit return. Now, of course, you've got to check the lighting source on the image, which way the light's coming from. I'm just doing it this way. I, I bet you money the light's actually coming from up over here. You guys can see the shadow on his arm. So I probably would really want this to go something like over here, maybe. But anyway, we'll fake it. I'll put it over here. And there we go. I'll hit return. Now, last step here is to go in and just add a nice little gradient mask. So 50 ways I can do that, but I'll come over here, click on the mask icon to make a mask, hit G to go to gradient. Now, I want to make sure I've got a simple black to white gradient right up here, you guys. So you can pick that usually. And then what I'll do is I'll go out and just click and drag and draw the right direction. I always mess that up in the right direction. You guys can keep redrawing to make yourself a nice gradient on there. Now, that's a gradient mask. So if I come over to the Layers panel on the right, I can Shift-click to show you guys, turn it on and off. I can Alt or Option on Mac, click on that to show you what the mask looks like. There we go. And there it is. If you guys want to go in and edit the shadow itself by adding blur to it, um, there's tons of stuff you guys can do. You can even set a blending mode right here that might work a little different for the project you're working on. Um, overlays, soft light, that kind of thing. There's a lot of ways you can get this done. And what that allows you to do then is to kind of, like it says, blend it into the background. So mess, mess around with it a little bit. If you also don't like the uh, opacity, how dark it is or how light it is, 
we could go over to opacity and you can just type in a number like two for 20, you know, three for this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you guys want to, or just use the scrubbers, it's up to you. And then just change the opacity, however you want to do it. But there you go. There's a nice, just simple little drop shadow.